He's going to compete. At the minute, Tom's not competing. Well, here is Ronnie then, breaking off in this fifth frame, playing for the match. Well, a really strange match has unfolded with the errors and all the talking points. But the frame that Tom Ford won seems like it was a long time ago now. Three in a row for Ronnie. would love to finish this off. And that's a good way to start. One. This is more like a Ronnie. Thought was going to turn up, and this is the kind of Ronnie that Tom Ford would have thought was going to turn up from the word go. I can't Six. feel the fact that Ronnie missed so many balls in them first three frames. It's just put Tom Ford off a little bit. Seven. I'm frustrated knowing he's had a real opportunity to beat. A world class player in Ronnie today. Just hasn't taken his chances. Frustrating day at the office. Thirteen. Eighteen. Ronnie Sullivan, eighteen. One. Well, he's got nothing to lose, really. This isn't a good scoring opportunity. He can play the yellow down for the loose red. Good go for the much thinner blue. Onto the pink and split him, but opt in for the yellow. Well, he's tried to develop him off the yellow and. Tom Ford one. All went wrong. Can't help feel if he's going to play at that pace. He'd have had much better value in playing the blue with the cue ball into the pink. Could have just played it at normal pace and the cue ball would have done the work for him. One. So another great red by Ronnie. Ronnie started the find the groove a little the last two or three frames interesting to hear his press conference after this match Ronnie what he's going to say about his performance and Six. Tom Ford's performance seven be interesting to see as well if his interviews are any different to what they were at the uh, Grand Prix up in Preston because they were quite interesting to say the least Yes, I, I had a look at that online. The, the robot answers. 
I think Neil Folds finished that interview by saying, well, Ronnie, you played a bit like a robot in that match. Not really a lot you can say to a man who's giving you answers pretending to be a robot voice. There's never a dull moment. Sorry, He sometimes does have a twinkle in his eye at the press conferences. The one he gave after securing that seventh Masters title. It's quite amusing. He had his son Ronnie Jr. there, and 14. all the press gathered round and said, "Oh, can you can your son play? Is he, is he a good snooker player?" He gave that classic kind of wink and a smile and said, "No, mate. I've told him it's got to be golf or tennis." Luca's too hard. But of course he said it with a massive smile on his face. 20. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Winner, winner, the winner of this one. Plays Mark Davis. He beat Lee Hang four-two. 34. 34. Ronnie very close here. 40. But it won't go down as one of his absolute finest 41. performances and I'm sure he'll say that himself when he chats after this match but now Tom Ford requiring 47. multiple snookers and he knows this is all but over Ronnie Sullivan, 47. and he decides not to chase it only five behind. A real shame there for Tom Ford. Away for Ronnie O'Sullivan. He's through to the second round. All frames to one.